Just on a little bit of lip oil. Do, do, do. Let's get going. So guys, I feel like it has literally been the longest time since we have done a get ready with me, just putting on some makeup, having a chat, and talking about some new beauty items that I have been enjoying, that I've picked up recently, etc, etc. I feel like we've just not done this for the longest time. So here we are, that's what we're doing today. Um, and just having like a little bit of a catch up. Um, I'm just priming my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I have been enjoying this um, so much since my Essence, my favourite Essence eyeshadow primer got discontinued. I use an eyeshadow primer every single day. Um, and I do find that the ones that come in like tubes and stuff, I just go through them really, really fast. And if it's something I'm using every day, I want value. You guys know me. I like value for money. And I will say that this MAC uh, paint pot, um, you can see I've used it quite a bit but we've still got absolutely loads left i think it's around 20 pounds but i always wait for like a discount i got it off asos when there was a 20 percent off day um so you know i just never pay full price for makeup guys like there is always there's always a sale always like a payday 20 percent off day or something um or like going to to beauty outlets things like that never pay never pay full price um sometimes sometimes i do pay full price if there's something new that i really want to try but for the most part i will find a coupon i'll find a deal um i'll use my space and k um indulge five pound voucher or whatever you know never pay full price basically uh, so i'm just setting the primer i just like to give myself a little bit of a base and today we're doing a very easy eye because i want to show you my new favorite eyeshadow this eyeshadow is a bit of a bargain so if you're not looking to spend too much money on makeup um you're on a bit of a budget or, or whatever this eyeshadow from sephora is absolutely stunning this was uh 7.99 euro so probably around the same price here in the uk and if you ever wanted to try something from sephora brand this is something i'd recommend it's called twinkle twinkle and it is the most beautiful eyeshadow ever it's so pretty and reflective. It's very, very similar to the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow. Um, however, for whatever reason, I just, oh, so hard to open packages when you've got your nails recently done because I'm opening it from the wrong side. Um, this one is definitely a bit more reflective. It's definitely got more like glitters in it. But I think I prefer the tone of the uh, Sephora one a little bit more. I also think the Sephora one is a little bit more opaque, but obviously you can build up either, but there's definitely a bit more of a base to the Sephora one. So that is the shadow we're using today. You could totally just go in with your um, bronzer and um, then just put the shadow in. I am just gonna go in with my makeup uh, by Mario matte palette. I have been eyeing the cool tone palette as well because I love this warm palette, but it is very, very warm. And sometimes I do, do fancy going for something a little bit cooler. So I'm very, very tempted by the new palette uh but do i need it probably not <laughs> but his makeup is really lovely really high quality um well thought out makeup uh by makeup by mario if you didn't know he is um kind of the the, the guy that came up with um kim kardashian's like signature makeup look i know she has quite a few different makeup artists but mario was definitely the one that i think influenced her look the most um and did a lot of that kind of like smoky eye with the nude lip so i'm just doing something just quite like easy and then i'm not actually going to go too too dark with the um outer corner 
shadowing uh i just don't want anything recently i've i've kind of figured out i don't sometimes don't i don't need to go so dark with my outer corner um i can just do a medium brown rather than like a darker brown and it's still defines but maybe just like not as harshly as a darker brown would and especially for like a more daytime like office look um it just works out a little bit better these shadows just blend really really easy i will say like if you've always been a person that maybe struggled with um blending uh matte shadows the the mario palettes are very very user friendly um and there's so many tones so many useful shades in this one and they've just as i said come out with a cool tone one as well so something for everyone now really they are a little bit on the expensive side though um but i do think they are worth the money in my in my honest opinion um so time to go in with the shadow of the day uh, the only thing i struggle with is opening this package because it actually opens two ways so you can actually open it at the bottom and put this in your own eyeshadow palette which is cool um but i'm not going to do that so <laughs> it'd be great if it it didn't do that so i like to get quite a lot up on my brush and then i will get my setting spray i always wet shimmer shadows just like that and then we're going to go in on the lid And it's such a simple, pretty, everyday um, eyeshadow look. Well, it's definitely like glitzy, but I feel like it just goes with anything that I'm wearing. Um, and I feel like it's it's so similar to the um, um, Decay one, which I think is around £24 maybe, um, with this being £8. And normally with the Sephora collection stuff, there's normally an offer on or a deal on. I will um, link it in my description box for you. So simple. I know they also have a, a pinkier. They say that this is a a glitter shadow. And I think they do one that's... They have some that are pure glitter, which I'm not really into. But they have another shade that's similar, which I'd say is like a merge of kind of pigment and glitter. Uh, which is more of a pinkier one so I think I will try and pick that up next time but I've been wearing this eyeshadow look so much recently um I just think it's really really pretty and just really easy to throw on and like not have to think of anything gonna go in with my v lighter Ooh, some good focusing there um I am doing I'm filming some hauls for you guys today so I, I kind of want a base that isn't going to be too too glowy um as in like oily because i feel like this glow really sets down while it stays looking nice and dewy um it it sets i don't I keep repeating myself it sets guys the dew sets and um yeah i have a backup of this uh uh, what do they call it a skin illuminator they call it a v-lighter from valentino makeup it is really lovely a really lovely product um definitely one of their like i think the whole brand to be honest not enough people talk about the valentino beauty line but i really enjoy it i think it's such a nice makeup line and if i'm prada i've just come out of their own makeup line but i just think the valentino line is just a little bit better in my humble opinion um i've swatched the prada stuff but i've not bought anything because just the prices are a little bit like sucks uh yeah sucks the air out of you the prices of the prada makeup um i'm gonna go in with the nyx uh pro fix stick i while this has got less product than the nars i like this because i can just put it on my face uh i don't need like an additional brush or anything I can just put it on, you know, whatever I need to. And, yeah, it's very easy to use. And um, I think gram per gram, it's only slightly cheaper than the NARS one. But 
it's very very easy to use i'm going to go in with the charlotte tilbury concealer next i haven't used this in so long um just trying to find a concealer brush that's <laughs> both basically i really need to wash my brushes um so it's just like working out which concealer brush is less dirty than the other so oh, just hairs everywhere oh my gosh so let's chat about life uh, while I do my concealer. So um, I've recently-ish come back from visiting JP in Monaco and I'm not actually going to be going over there now for quite some time compared to... I, I normally see him like once a month but if I'm honest like I've been really missing like being at home and like I've got so many jobs to do in this house. I feel like... Um, because I like basically I film every two weeks for YouTube and that includes um, so I'll do like two videos well four videos really because I'll do Tuesday Thursday Tuesday Thursday and um, so I'll do that all on like a day and then I'm doing that every other week and then I go tomorrow. So I have one weekend every month, basically, um, when I actually like can do jobs and stuff around the house. And I really need more time than that. Uh, I've all of my like drawers and my cupboards are just getting like really messy. Um, I want to have like just like big sort out. I want to swap my um, autumn, winter or wardrobe over to spring, summer. I want to put some stuff on on vintage because I know you guys love to shop uh, my wardrobe when you can. Um, so yeah, so JP is going to be coming over in May and that's the next time I will see him, um, which is always really nice. But uh, yeah, honestly, I just want a bit of time at home um, and yeah, doing some jobs around the house um, just and also just like going out and like enjoying my local area like I just don't feel like I do anything when I'm here like I'm just like filming or getting ready to go see my boyfriend so yeah it's going to be really really nice to just like maybe do some days out with my parents um and yeah just do some bits around the house to be honest I've really missed uh yeah, like, and my wardrobe is a mess. My downstairs cupboard is a mess. Everywhere's just a bit of a mess. So, yeah, it really looking forward to just spending some time at home. Um, I think, yeah, May Day weekend. That's a bank holiday, isn't it? The first weekend of May. I think I'm just going to, like, spend some time, yeah, sorting my house out. There's not, like, much, like, DIY projects, though... <sighs> There's a part of me that really wants to like swap my desk and my sofa over in my office space. But then if I have guests over, I don't know if they'll be able to like put the bed out. So I kind of need to like work that out because otherwise it's just like pointless me moving, moving everything around to like then have to do it again. Because I know you guys always complain that the lighting isn't very good because I'm I'm backlit. Um, it is what it is uh unless i unless i move um my desk which i'm thinking of, i'm thinking about but i just don't know if it's possible setting with the charlotte tilbury powder so yeah it's mainly doing a lot of like organizing um just getting rid of some stuff like it's crazy i've been in this house now for two and a half years and when i first moved in i was like i'm gonna have no rubbish anywhere like i'm not going to bring in anything that i don't need blah 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 you know best laid plans <laughs> obviously um that doesn't happen just like stuff builds up like you buy stuff that you think you'll use all the time you don't use it at all uh you know people buy you you know good meaning gifts but sometimes you already have that or you just don't end up using them in your routine like i sorted out my pan cupboard yesterday it was in dire straits because it's also got at the back of the cupboard like all my christmas kitchen stuff um it also has the slow cooker in there it had a george foreman grill that i never use because i use my air fryer um it had a sandwich toasty maker which is also just like a george foreman grill but with different rivets on and i just didn't use it so um i got rid of them um also like some of the 
some of my pans just you know it was just a bit of a mess so I'm really glad that I sorted that um cupboard out going in with the Fenty Inter Sun bronzer I definitely need to pick up a new one of these when they have uh, like a 20% off at Boots or something. It's one of my favourite bronzers. JP actually got this for me in 2020. Shows you how old this bronzer is. And I love this bronzer, but yeah, because I've got so many bronzers, obviously, I don't go through them, but I really do enjoy this bronzer quite a bit. But Sephora in France was having a, an amazing sale because of covid and you got me this bronzer for 50 percent off and like they've not discontinued it i guess they just had like a lot of stock left so yeah jp got me this bronzer and um i will be buying it again because it is lovely very easy to use blends beautifully it's a great tone for fair skin they've got also loads of other shades for every skin tone on the planet <laughs> maybe, maybe not on the planet but you know what i'm saying so up next is a new thing new to me um house labs so house labs has just launched in um sephora in france and europe i think they've been on uk sephora now for a while but i just haven't been to a uk sephora store yet because they're just nowhere near wherever I am. I think one day I might make a little trip to Westfield, White City Westfield, maybe. Um, but it's just, a, it is a long way for me to go. Uh, so I picked up this House Labs in France. This is in Pomelo Peach. They're reformulated blushes and it's so pretty. Lots of lovely shades um to pick from but this i think was the lightest shade so oh that's my bronzer brush i'm just gonna do, 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 wipe that off just take a little bit off um <laughs> tap a tiny bit because i do want to go over the top with the new um rare beauty um blush is it blush lights whatever they're called like the glowy but just it's just a lovely powder blush which i think is very weird a powder blush coming out nowadays because everything is cream or liquid or um you know not a powder blush <laughs> so yeah it's a really nice launch they had some really pretty colors as well some really interesting colors too um but this one's definitely very neutral um definitely very easy to wear if you're fair skinned like me um and then i did pick up this is the powder it's just called powder blush but these are very very highlighty this is in the shade cheer which is apparently um specially designed for selena gomez uh this specific shade they're very 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 um soft so when i put my my brush in the other day it picked up a lot of product so you do have to be quite i'd say gentle with this otherwise you're going to get a lot on your on your brush especially if you're just wanting just a little hit um so yeah i think they're okay they're like pretty but I don't think I'm going to buy any more. I almost bought Hope the other day when I was in Sephora. Uh, not Sephora, Space NK. But I don't know if they're my favourite, favourite, favourite formula. I'm glad I got it. But I don't think, yeah, as I said, I don't think I'll buy any more shades. But what I am looking forward to is a lot more brands are coming out with some more highlighters. I have not stopped wearing highlighter, even when apparently highlighter is not fashionable anymore. Um, this is the Kylie one in Ice Me Out. It's really nice. Um, it's one of the only Kylie products I actually use. <laughs> Uh, but I'm really looking forward to there being some more highlighter products because I just feel like there hasn't been any new like highlighters for such a long time. I think Fenty have just come out with one that looks really, really nice. And I'm really interested to try that. And then there's another one. And I can't remember where, what brand that was now, but it looked really nice too. So definitely going to keep an eye open for that. But definitely the Fenty one. The Fenty one looked really pretty but yeah just nice to see some um 
some highlighters come out because I just feel like there hasn't been any for a really long time and I love highlighters and I'm kind of like a little bit like I'm just using the same ones from my like highlighter collection so it'd be great to maybe add some some fresh fresh highlighters to the collection this Kylie one is just like I love the tone of it because it is a really really light champagne and finding a light enough champagne can sometimes be really hard because uh, normally the champagnes are they definitely have like a lot of like pigment behind them like but this one's just yeah really really pretty but I will say my base makeup today looks absolutely gorgeous so maybe that Rare Beauty I think it's more nicer as a blush topper rather than a full-on um you're just using it as the blush itself i'm gonna set with good old charlotte tilbs i try not to spray too much because otherwise i end up with an absolutely soaked face so i normally do like three and then like a big blast for the end <laughs> curl the lashes time again with my charlotte tilbury i do love charlotte tilbury I think someone asked me the other day if I could only like wear one brand of makeup, what would it be? And I think it just would be Charlotte Tilbury because Charlotte Tilbury, like the whole like ethos behind the makeup is just to make you look good. Like while I think, you know, colourful makeup and that kind of artistry is really fun, sometimes it's not the most flattering. Whereas Charlotte Tilbury is like literally like the makeup that celebrities use on red carpets to look their most flawless. And... To be honest, like, I want to look like that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I definitely wear makeup to, like, look nice through <laughs> my everyday. Um, so, yeah, definitely. And I just feel like all their products, for the most part, like, I could do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury and look good. Like, I, I'm... Yeah, I trust most of their products. Like, they've had some duds, but they really are f few and far between, between. And I feel like they've now literally got every element of the um, the face covered now. They've literally got... I think they've literally got every step um, of, a, of a face. Uh, which, the only one that I obviously don't try is the foundation, because I don't wear foundation um but may yeah i do hear a lot of back and forth about um the charlotte tilbury foundation some people really like them but some people really don't but foundation is like so personal um like i remember I, that, that, that to be honest is one of the reasons why i stopped wearing foundation because i just didn't like the whole experience i just felt like no foundation was ever good enough you were always trying to find a foundation that was good with a good match and also just foundations are so expensive like why are foundations so expensive um like now you can like the thing with an eyeshadow palette is that can last you a really long time but foundations they don't last you like if you're using it every day it'll last you like a what a month or two and then you have to buy a new one whereas an eyeshadow palette you can have that for like years so <laughs> i'd rather spend money on on that kind of thing and yeah i just never it was just stressful trying to find um, find a good foundation that's like suited my skin, and then my skin would change because of the seasons and blah blah blah. I think what I do need to get is a little brush to like separate my lashes a bit because sometimes they do get stuck together, especially on this side because it's the side that I sleep on. Um, I had did get some little drops there, but I'll just pick them off when they dry. So finally, um, more Charlotte Tilbury. Am I sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury? No, um, unfortunately, I'm not. <laughs> so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Fair. Um, let me get the regular one out. So I've always liked the original Pillow Talk. Um, this is actually the OG before she launched Pillow Talk as a Valentine's Day release, I think, I think in 2018. This is an old lipstick, guys, but we are almost done. Um, 
So I've loved this shade before it was even, before everyone loved it. <laughs> um, I think it's because like, I'm not a fully cool toned fair. Like I definitely am a little bit of a neutral um, fair person. I know I get redness, but um, I do think this suits me with my um, kind of auburny hair. But I really wanted to try fair because obviously I am fair and this is a little bit cooler. It's also a satin formula. It's the kissing formula rather than the um, the matte formula. So it's definitely lighter. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to give it a go. But I do want to like line my lips so I get definition. Um, I do like to line my lips with a... <laughs> But what liner are we going to use? So there's the liner. These lip liners from e.l.f. guys are so good. And then I'm just going to go in with the lippy. So yeah, quite a contrast. But I feel like that's kind of oh on. It is very nude. And I think just because we've got a bit of a peachy blush, it is... Um, yeah, I think that's really cute. Let me just get my hair down and I'll be back with you. Ow. <laughs> so guys, here is the finished look. Um, it was really nice catching up with you. Let me know down below, how's life? How's everything going with you? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I think this look is just the perfect easy everyday look. Um, and if you're ever wondering what, I'm, what makeup I'm wearing in my whole videos, it's normally something like this, so it goes with everything I'm trying on. Um, I will say uh, I was just so in love with this Sephora eyeshadow single. Uh, yeah, if you have a Sephora gift card or you just fancy treating yourself, I really, really recommend. Like, it's literally under £10 and so, so nice. Um, and, yeah, I really enjoyed the... Um, the two blushes, but I do think I prefer the House Labs blush. I feel like that's a very polarizing opinion because everyone's going wild for the uh, the rare beauty blushes over on TikTok. But over here on YouTube, we have different opinions. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all very very soon. Bye.